द क्वेश्चन इज प्रिपेयर ट्रेडिंग एंड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट फॉर द इयर एंडेड थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन एंड बैलेंस शीट आज एट दैट डेट फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग ट्रायल बैलेंस देर आर एडजस्टमेंट्स आफ्टर गोइंग थ्रू द एडजस्टमेंट्स वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू ड्रॉ द फॉर्मेट इन द बुक्स ऑफ अटैच डैश प्रिपेयर द ड्रॉ द फॉर्मेट एंड राइट डाउन ट्रेडिंग एंड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट फॉर द ईयर एंडेड थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन एंड आफ्टर ड्रॉइंग द फॉर्मेट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द क्रेडिट साइड बाय सेल्स रुपीज फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड लेस रिटर्न दैट इज रुपीज थाउजेंड इन द फाइनल कलम विल हैव रुपीज फोर्टीन थाउजेंड then by closing stock rupees 4500 this is an adjustment will be shown in the current under the head current assets in the asset side of the balance sheet then in the opening stock will be in the debit side the opening stock rupees 3000 to purchases rupees 12000 in the inside column less returns rupees 2000 then totaling will be 10000 in the final column hence add the credit side that is for 18500 write down in debit side and find out the difference to gross profit carried down that is is 5500 and in the profit and loss account that is by gross profit brought down rupees 5500 and the all other items will be in the credit side there will be commission rupees 500 it is given in the credit By commission five hundred, and in the adjustment part two, it is written commission rupees hundred received in advance for the next year. Income received in advance is a liability. We have not done the work, but we are receiving the money. Hence, less received in advance rupees hundred, and in the final column, the commission earned actually is rupees four hundred, and this hundred will. Commission received in advance is a liability. Will be written in the under the head current liabilities in the balance sheets liability side. Next one is accrued interest on deposit is rupees two hundred ten. You can read this in part three. Interest two hundred ten is is to be received on deposits. That is accrued interest on deposits or interest receivable. That is rupees two hundred ten, and interest on bank overdraft three hundred is to be paid. Interest on bank overdraft is to be paid. That is the next concept of adjustment. Come down to the debit side of a profit and loss account and write down all office expenses, establishment expenses, business earning expenses. That is rupees two thousand two hundred. Taxes and insurance rupees five hundred, and here first adjustment taxes rupees two hundred are outstanding and insurance rupees fifty is prepaid. One outstanding is there and one prepayment is there. Hence taxes outstanding will be added and insurance premium prepaid will be deducted. these two adjustments in the part 1 part 1 will be recorded here that is add outstanding taxes rupees 200 less prepaid insurance rupees 50 in the final column we will have rupees 650 next is our bad debts bad debt is rupees 500 we can read the concept for bad debt that is fourth part Provision for doubtful debt is to be maintained at rupees thousand. Here, bad debt and bad debt provision is given in the middle of this trial balance. That is, bad debt is rupees five hundred. This is the already incurred bad debt within the year, and seven hundred rupees is the old provision of the last year. And current year, the new provision is as per adjustment of part four is rupees thousand. Hence, bad debt rupees five hundred. Add new provision for Doubtful debts rupees thousand. The totaling is rupees fifteen hundred. Less old provision for doubtful debts rupees seven hundred. And we can now have in the final column rupees eight hundred under the head bad debts as an expenditure or loss. Next one is our salary. Outstanding salary is hundred. There is no salaries in the trial balance. 
but it is given in the adjustment as outstanding sal salaries outstanding salaries rupees 100 so this is an adjustment as per part one of the first part of the adjustment and this 100 will be shown under the head current liabilities in the liability side of the balance sheet next is your outstanding interest on overdraft this is also an adjustment as per adjustment 3 interest on bank overdraft 300 is to be paid that is over in outstanding interest on overdraft rupees 300 this will be shown under the head current liabilities in the liability side of the balance sheet being an adjustment next is it to depreciation on furniture rupees 660 furniture value is 600 given that is the third last that is the item given in the balance sheet and now 10 percent of this is rupees 60 600 into 10 percent depreciation on furniture is rupees 60 then total the credit side of profit and loss account that is coming rupees 6110 write down in the debit side and find out the difference that is to net profit carried down that is rupees 2000 then add this profit to the capital accounts in the balance sheets liability side that is balance sheet as at 31st march 2016 in the asset side we will have current assets that is gas rupees 1500 prepaid insurance rupees 50 then accrued interest on deposit interest receivable rupees 210 closing stock 4500 bills receivable rupees 3000 debtors rupees 5000 less new provision as per adjustment rupees 1000 and in the final column we will have rupees 4000 then fixed assets under this head we will have deposits that is 4000 on which we are receiving interest or accrued interest is there next one is furniture rupees 600 less 10 percent of this as depreciation rupees 60 then we can write down rupees 540 in the final column and total the asset side of the balance sheet that is coming to rupees 17800 then in the liability side we have current liabilities <coughs> under this creditors rupees 2000 bills payable rupees 2500 outstanding taxes rupees 200 outstanding salaries rupees 100 outstanding interest on overdraft rupees 300 commission received in advance rupees 100 this last four are adjustments bank overdraft rupees 2000 being a current liability shown under the head current liabilities long term liabilities and capital capital rupees 10,000 less drawings rupees 1400 given in the debit side of the trial balance debit column of the trial balance add net profit that is rupees 2000 in the final column we will have rupees 10,600 and the totaling is 17,800 this is the final answer